Hello and welcome back. I am Josh, aka Mr. Sisatris, and today is Good Friday, and so I am not at work, and there's nothing to do, so I am going to do a book haul for you guys. This is um, some random stuff that I've picked up over the past couple weeks. Some of it is used, some of it I got new, and um, all of it I am excited to read, so let's get into this. First up, um, I'll do these two together, but I found two books by E.M. Forster, um, Where Angels Fear to Tread and Howard's End. Um, I read A Passage to India by him in college, and after all the trauma of like grad school wore off, I remembered that I genuinely did like it. Um, I like his prose, I'm excited to read more of his work, and these are the two that I kind of randomly stumbled upon. This one is apparently a kind of comedy of errors or comedy of manners sort of thing where a character undergoes the the horrific trauma of being raised Italian and the reactions of her or his her snobbish um, snobbish uh, English family so I'm excited to see where that one goes and this one here is kind of more thought-provoking um, heartfelt it's um, a family who tries to help out another family um, and and kind of bring them back up in the world when they've kind of fallen on hard times. So it seems a little um, heartwarming and sweet. And um, as always, it's going to be, you know, commentary on English society, which Forster is really good at. Um, so these two, I am I'm pretty excited to read. And um, this one, this one's very cute, but I love I love the cover of this one. Look how great that is. I just it makes me happy. It's not like a special edition or anything, but I just, I really like it. So I don't know, we'll see how it goes. So you know that thing when you're a book lover and you end up collecting more books than you can conceivably read. And so your TBR just keeps getting longer and you keep collecting books and you can't keep up with it because you wish you had like 24 hours free reading time and you didn't have to worry about things like sleep and work and real life. Um, that's kind of what this one is. So this is The River of Silver by Shannon Chakraborty. This is a collection of short stories that's linked to the Dive Abad trilogy, uh, which I do have, but I have not yet read. But I wanted to get this because I know that I will like it when I do read it. And so I wanted to have this in hardcover because it's very pretty. And so I will just keep collecting things until I get a chance to read them. But when I do read them, I won't have to wait and that's how I justify it with myself because of who I am as a person. So, you know, moving on. Uh, <laughs> next up is uh, Midnight's Children by Salman Rushdie. I've never read anything by him before, but he seems like someone that I would really enjoy. Um, I've heard this one is kind of a magical realism look at sort of um, a number of, of people who happen to be born at the exact same time and kind of their life and the things that fate has in store for them. Um, and it seems really, really interesting. So um, I, I do want to read uh, his stuff. And um, this is one that kind of jumped out at me. So if I love this, I will continue to collect more of his work. Uh, next up is um, another one from an author I haven't read before. And this is Isabel Allende's Zorro. And yes, it's that Zorro. Um, uh, this one kind of leapt out at me. I've heard her name a million times and I really want to read her stuff again. Um, I know she's known for kind of magical realism and, uh, this one just, it's, it's very cool. I didn't realize that the, the Zorro character had been kind of reimagined or maybe not reimagined, but like she's told his story with her own personal flair. So I think this would be a great introduction to her, uh, writing style. I know she's also written a number of really famous books. The House of the Spirits comes to mind. Um, and, uh, I do want to read that one as well, but this one looked really cool and the cover's pretty. And so I said, why not? Let's just jump into it. And next up I found Jazz by Toni Morrison. Um, I love Toni Morrison. I've read uh, three of her novels so far, and I've loved every single one of them. Uh, Beloved, Sula, and The Bluest Eye, all of which completely devastated me. She's rapidly racing up the ranks to become one of my favorite authors of all time ever. And um, usually I only see like one or two of her books out in the wild, so to speak. Um, and I, I haven't seen this one before, so I snatched it up as soon as I can. Um, and I'm really, really excited to see this one. I think this one is sort of a, it's kind of part of a, like a thematic trilogy. 
um, starting with Beloved, so this is kind of continuing on with the themes. It's different characters in a different setting, um, but it, it's kind of, you know, in, in Morrison's eyes, she kind of wanted these all to be kind of linked, so I'm excited to continue this one. And finally, um, this is a book of poetry. Um, and again, this one was sitting on a bookshelf in the used section and it leapt out and attacked me and forced me to buy it. And so I had to, and that's called, um, if they come for us, um, by Fatima Oscar. And I really hope I pronounced that right. I'm sorry if I didn't. Um, but this one, um, it, it seems like it's a collection of, um, very angry, truthful poems digging at sort of, um, the treatment of women, especially women of color in certain communities, and um, there's lots of rage and truth, and I love all that kind of stuff. So I'm excited to give this a go. I was flipping through it, and every single one that I read was just completely gripping, and so she's really um, someone I've never heard of this poet before, but I'm excited to give it a go. So that is my book haul and I will now have to find room for them on the bookshelves which sure I can do that that's fine it's it's fine I'll just get more bookshelves if I need to but <laughs> whatever it's okay so enjoy your good Friday if you don't have the day off I hope you at least have a stress-free day at work and I hope you all get time off eventually somehow yeah and seriously think so too so, bye for now. I will be back on Monday with my regular video. See ya.